Okay, and now continuing with the tour group having passed us. Um, the thing about the mirrors that you're looking at here and here, and if I turn it around here, you can see that on that side there are curtains over them, but windows that let in and refract that light. Now this sounds all, you know, nice and good, except you have to remember that in the 16th century you could not just pop down to the Home Depot and pick up a mirror and slap some decals on it like you are looking on something on Pinterest. Right? This glass had to be blown perfectly flat. No bubbles, no contact, convex, concave, there you go, that's the other side. No curvature has to be absolutely flat and flawless, blown by hand, mind you, cooled off, and then painted on the back with the silver and mercury to make it reflective. And then the artists would paint on the front of this to get the design. And the whole thing is reminiscent of, remember this is at the same time that the Palace of Versailles and the mirrored room there was being done. So this was very much decided to be uh, reflective, no pun, of that.